for the average American. Then the next eight years, the eight Bush years, uh, only three million jobs created. And that wasn't even enough to keep up with population growth. So in that sense, there was a relative decline in job creation. Uh, and wages were flat or worse for the average American. So and, and to couple with that, you know, what the Republicans did in eight years was they cut taxes for the richest Americans and they deregulated Wall Street and deregulated worker safety. Look what happened in the mine disaster and deregulated uh, in terms of, of safety and environment. Look what happened in the Gulf of Mexico. And uh, it's the same story. And the, when I look at who they're running for office this year in my state, the Republicans are trotting out Mike DeWine, formerly U.S. Senator, Rob Portman, uh, formerly U.S. Budget Director and Trade Rep under Bush, uh, John Kasich, former Republican Chairman of the Budget Committee in the 90s. Uh, they're trotting them out and they're saying the same things. They want to do the same things as Marco Rubio wants to do. Cut taxes, cut regulation, and that's going to create jobs. No, it costs us jobs and drives up the deficit. The economics are so clear in this, as you pointed out, that it's terrible for the budget. And, you know, all the big things they did, tax cuts, the war in Iraq, the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, and um, the, the drug, drug company and insurance company bailout in the name of Medicare privatization, all that, all those tens of billions, excuse me, hundreds of billions of dollars were charged or were not paid for and charged to our grandchildren. And they have the hypocrisy and the nerve to say that Democrats are irresponsible on the budget. I mean, give me a break. One of the things that, of course, is, is proven not only to be the right thing to do by people who are down on their luck, but also a big economic stimulus is extending unemployment benefits. That is something that you and the Senate have been dealing with over and over and over again as Republicans continue to block it. Do you think the Senate is finally going to be able to get an extension next week? Yeah, I think we are because Senator Byrd's replacement will be appointed by, by Governor Manchin of West Virginia. We need one more vote. Um, but I, I mean, that, that, is, that is the ultimate hypocrisy. They insist, we, you know, they, 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 they give tax cuts to the rich, they start wars, they do a drug and insurance company bailout giveaway, charge that to our grandchildren. All of a sudden now, we have to pay for unemployment benefits for working people who have been in the job market for 20 or 30 years working. They lose their, they lose their jobs. They've paid into this. They, they, Republicans seem to think, Republican senators, 41 of them vote no on, on unemployment time after time after time. They seem to think that unemployment is welfare. It's insurance. You pay in when you're working. You get help when you're not. And for them to say we don't pay for tax cuts for the richest Americans, just add that to our grandchildren's uh, balance sheet. Let them pay that. Put that on their credit card. Yet say you, you can't do unemployment uh, compensation unless you pay for it. For, I, I, saw, I, I saw a guy tonight who used to work for Bob Dole, and he, he was incredulous that Republicans today won't bipartisanly extend unemployment benefits. We've always done it. It's counter-cyclical, meaning when the economy's bad, you want to prime the pump, as you, as you point out on this show, Rachel, that, that that's good economics. Every dollar you put into unemployment benefits creates a dollar sixty in economic activity. So forget the humanity humanitarian cost, the humanitarian issue, it's good economics to, to provide unemployment extension to people who are working hard and lost their jobs. Democratic Senator Sherrod Brown of Ohio, uh, thank you for your time tonight. I feel like uh, I wasn't very clear in explaining this, and you were crystal clear. No, you, no, you, were, you, were, you were very clear. You just didn't mention the fact that they ruined the economy in addition to the budget deficits. But um, you, 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 did, you did really well, as always. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you, Sherrod. Thank, nice to see you. <laughs>